let me take you through our new release. It's bursting full of brand new features. It's our best and biggest release yet. It's another step to making Axiom the best browser automation tool on the market. I'm super excited about it. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let me take you through all the amazing stuff the team has been doing. First up, now you can upload and download your um, files in the cloud. Previously, you were limited to the desktop. How can you do that? Let me just show you quickly. I'll find an interact step. We've added two new sub steps and they are, if you search for Google Drive, upload to a, a Google Drive or download a file from Google Drive. It's pretty awesome because like I said, it means you can now run your automations that involve files in the cloud. It's also pretty cool because Google Drive has a folder that allows you to sync your folders to your computer. So it makes this a really powerful feature and one users have been asking us to do. So that is done, it's shipping in this version. Next up, if you've used the um, date step at all of Axiom and you've wanted to get the last day of the previous month, you would have had to ask us and we'd have done it with some JavaScript for you. Now we've updated our steps so you've got more options, not just the current day. Now you can click custom and you can get the last day of the previous month, the first day of the current month. Any amount of days in the past and any amount of days in the future will be given a value there to enter. And even better, once you select your date format, you'll be getting a preview of that value so you know exactly what's stored in that token when you pass it into another step. Cool, awesome, what's next? Let me not miss out on anything because we've got so much in this release. Up here, if I click on this new menu, we've got pre previous options that were just in the bar like settings and save as duplicate. We've also got undo and redo. So if you've done a few changes and you want to revert them because you think your previous way was better, just control Z and then to reinstate control Y. So that is pretty handy. Also, we've added in our conditional steps you will see, um, let me just add a new conditional step. So I'll take you through something in a second. So if I add our two conditional steps, this will be in condition only, um, continue only if condition is met and um, jump if condition. So you'll see new JavaScript script boxes here. So you can basically add an expression. You can evaluate a value that's passed. So for example, let's say you've scraped the value 50 and you want to do like, is it greater than 100? You could use a bit of JavaScript to check that, and then your condition will basically do one or the other. So you could jump if the value is greater or just continue running uh, onto the next step if it's not. So that's a pretty handy new feature and gives you a lot more power. But um, for the no coders out there, we will produce examples of how that can be done, how it can be utilized, but also we will be sort of no codifying that in due course as well. Okay, next up, you would have noticed here the upgrade step. This is a new feature. So let me give you a bit of context. Um, our CTO, Simon, made the decision a while back, and this is a correct decision that we wouldn't just update our steps when they have new features in other people's axioms, because what if they if they work as they are, they are in, the, in their current state and we update them and break them, then we're gonna make everyone's lives a misery. We're going to ruin their automation. So we decided that we wouldn't update the steps even though there are new features in them you would just have to re-add them but now we've added the option where you can just automatically upgrade that step yourself and release the new feature just by clicking that button and you can see i've now got that new feature available so that's pretty awesome give it a go update your axioms especially if you're on a scraper for example we've got these new settings on the scrapers which allow you to optimize for speed so you may want to use use it there now we also have new options on our read data from Google Sheet. You won't see it there because you need some variables in it. Let me just add a new Google Sheet step here. So we've got some options. Let me just do this. Now the, this is what's new. First cell, last cell, you can insert data. This means you can pass dynamic values into there. So if you're trying to write to particular cell ranges, you can pass a value in there to, to target those cell ranges. That's a pretty awesome new feature and very useful. Okay, I've shown you the improvements to the date step, upgrade your axiom step, so we've been through that. Tokens, also we've 
added the option we just slightly tweak tokens a little bit let me just try and show you that let's say i'm inserting let me find a go to page there we go let's say i'm insert, inserting let me just do this the data from the google sheet and i want to see the data preview now i can just double click on the token to see the preview before you had to reinsert the data so that's a nice little tweak to the ui and we're not done that yeah they're there yet so my, my throat is getting sore i've been through we've been through a lot there's so much in this new release um we've got other things like if you you'll notice that we've got this highlighter here so now you can highlight just to point out you can highlight a multiple steps at once for example here and then we've got this new delete all feature up here so that's a pretty cool new feature as well not to finish there we also produce a new template some beginner templates for scraped uh, automating screenshots to um to automating apps like apollo ClickUp etc we've added so there's some new templates in our template page if you want to go and check that out we've also added endpoints for um to, to retrieve google sheet data so that's really useful and there's many other improvements we've been working on the performance of axiom there's some, been some caching issues we've fixed we've rolled out new subscription pages etc you may have noticed we've got better error messages in there the HTML, the, the scraper now checks the inner and outer HTML to, to return results. So there's loads, so much more in there. Check out the whole page where we've got everything listed. You'll find it on our website. It's just axiom.ai slash release notes. Awesome. Thank you for sticking with it. And thank you for using Axiom. These are exciting changes and there is so much more to come. You should see what we're working on. Boris is doing our, our UI. He's doing an amazing job on um, his fine-tuning how we're going to like the whole onboarding journey through axiom he's also looking at how we our nesting is going to work up which will be a massive change to the ui we're going to be making axiom even cooler even simpler to use so much is coming out from the team watch out for the next release i'm super excited thank you